Okay, so one beautiful girl stands before me as the winner of America's Next Top Model, Miss Nicole. Uh, what went through your head when you found out that you had won? Well, I have to admit, during that last panel, when Tyra was standing there and she said, and America's Next Top Model is, she paused for about 30 seconds. And her eyes were switching back and forth between Laura and I. And so honestly, what went through my mind at exactly that point is, hmm... Tyra sure is giving Laura a lot of eyeball action right now. I wonder if she's trying to fake me out. I might have actually won this thing. And so so that's what was going on my mind then. But now I'm just, I mean, it's all hitting me. Of course, it happened months ago, but now the public knows. And um, it's just insane. Did you feel like uh, Laura may have had an advantage going in because she sort of had the dyslexia story going on and the models that came back were sort of all pulling for her? Yeah, I definitely felt that Laura had an advantage going into the final episode. America's Next Top Model loves a story and she certainly had one with her dyslexia and um, coming from a small town in Kentucky. And then also she really fits the bubbly personality of Seventeen Magazine and Cover Girl and so she was really intimidating as a competitor. Yeah. Well, it was an emotional time for both of you. Did you say anything to her after the show? after the elimination, rather? Oh, yeah. After the elimination, we both went back to the house together, actually, and we talked. We exchanged letters, numbers, and we still call each other almost every day, and wow. there's no hard feelings. Wow. Yeah. Now, um, you struggled with sort of confidence and personality all season. How has being America's Next Top Model boosted your confidence? Being America's Next Top Model has boosted my confidence so much, and even just going through the rigors of the show, because every single day we were doing interviews, we had to learn how to present ourselves and how to verbalize our emotions for an audience, and there was a lot of pressure involved. I've never been an adequate public speaker. I think everybody in my classes knows me as the girl who sits as close as physically possible to the door in the class as possible so that I can make a quick exit. I never raise my hand, and if I'm unluck unlucky enough to be preyed upon by the teacher, I blush bright red <laughs> Yeah. talking in front of class. So um, it's helped with that. Yeah. Um, well, I loved about you. You called yourself the dork who won America's Next Top Model. What would you say to the girls watching at home who are sort of you know shy and not sure that they can do it, sort of in the position that you may have been before you auditioned? Well, I hope that a lot of girls on this show, um, I mean, gosh, I would say that. I hope that a lot of girls out there who saw me on the show can relate. Girls who, like me, are really introverted and shy. And so I would just say, you know what, like, it's not a bad thing to be a quiet person. You observe things and um, you pick up on a lot. So don't let anybody tell you any different. Mm -hmm. Just be yourself and be confident in who you are. Let's talk about the final runway show, which was crazy. Um, how were you able to survive walking through wind and rain without completely falling down? My God, the final runway show was insane. And I knew going into it, Laura's walk was better than mine. But I just, I tried to stay um, in my in my shoes. Honestly, uh, the shoes actually they had for me were way too big mm -hmm. because even though I was one of the tallest girls on the show, I had the smallest feet there. <laughs> and so they had to tape me into those heels that I was wearing. And then combine that with a slippery surface and water in two big stilettos. Mm -hmm. I was just like quaking. It was it was terrible, but luckily I didn't like collapse off the stage. <laughs> Um, have you spoken to Tyra since you won, and, and has she said anything to you? I have. Actually, okay. um, a couple months ago, I was in my art class painting away, mm -hmm. and Tyra called me, but I had my phone on silent because I was in class, <laughs> so I didn't answer. <laughs> and then later, I was like, oh, she was calling me in class. I was kind of annoyed. <laughs> and then I listened to the message, and I was like, no way. I can't believe I didn't pick up. And what'd she say? Um, she just said that she was so proud of me, um, that I really deserved it, and that she'll be talking to me later, and she really, she thought I did a fantastic job, mm. and it was just, it was great. So in the finale, they sort of, you know, went back and reflected on all the photo shoots that you did, and, and all the trials and tribulations. Looking back at it now, what was your most memorable photo shoot or experience on the show? 
I think definitely, oh gosh, it's a tie between the very first photo shoot and the underwater shoot. The mm -hmm. first photo shoot, because that was a point, a pivotal point in the competition for me, where I was just overwhelmed. I think five minutes before I went on set, the director actually tried to get a little interview with me. She was like, so Nicole, how are you feeling? But I was so terrified. I was mm -hmm. like, my God, I don't <laughs> want to do this interview right now. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, I feel good. And she was like... Can you expand on that? Yeah. And I was like, I just feel good. And then I literally <laughs> turned my body away from her because I couldn't deal. And so that was really my mood at that point. And then, like, I was terrified, but then I rocked a photo shoot, so it was such a relief. And then as far as the underwater shoot goes, that's my first time ever in the ocean. Mm -hmm. And oh, wow. um, actually, I don't know how they... Um, put it all together with editing, but I was the last girl to go underwater that day. Mm -hmm. And girl after girl, I saw come up out of the water, crying, shaking, saying, oh my God, I freaked out. And I didn't know if I'd be able to hold it together, but I did. And so to be able to prove that to myself, I felt really great. Right. Is there anything you missed about the house? I'm guessing it's not the ants that are in the house. <laughs> well, actually, I am a, bu a bug lover, believe okay. it or not. Um, growing up, I dreamed of being an entomologist from a very young age, before mm -hmm. I was into modeling. Um, and inhabiting our house and our backyard mainly were these very large snails. Mm -hmm. And I've actually had many pet snails in my lifetime. Oh, really? And so I'm really interested in snail life, and mm -hmm. so I do miss those. Um, now, um, let's see. What was the best tip that, that Tyra gave you during the show that you've taken with you since? Definitely um, about selling my personality and, and just staying true to myself. Um, time and time again, the panel would criticize me for my lack of presence and mm -hmm. my dryness, which is really extreme camera shyness. Mm -hmm. um, but what she told me is, Nicole, we don't want to change who you are. You just have to understand how to present yourself and just have confidence in your personality, and so that was the most valuable advice. Mm -hmm. Now this season was all about height. You had to be five, seven, or under to be on the show. How does your height sort of influence your modeling gigs now that you're out in the real world? Is that still sort of advantage, disadvantage, you know, as you're sort of becoming a top model now? Right. How is that working into your... You know, I think being five, seven is definitely um, going to be a disadvantage going into the real modeling industry. There's a lot of pretty girls out there and there's a lot of competition, mm -hmm. but you know what? It just makes me try all the much harder. Mm -hmm. um, I know that I have to make really good impressions with every single photographer that I'm lucky enough to shoot with, to meet, and so I think um, it'll be an advantage in the end because I'll work harder mm -hmm. than the tall girls. So what is next for you then? As um, far as well, modeling, yeah. I am meeting with Wilhelmina actually oh, wow. this afternoon, and so they'll probably, I'm sure they have a plan for me as to what market would fit my look best. Mm -hmm. And so if I need to move, I'll move. I just want to take this opportunity and run with it and um, make the best of it and do my best to um, have a career at this. Mm -hmm. Now, last year's winner, last cycle, excuse me, winner was on the finale. Are you open to coming back to the show? Just oh, sort of a guest oh or my whatever. gosh. It would be insane if I got to be on Cycle 14. <laughs> I would absolutely love that because, I don't know, it was so stifling to be in that environment where I wasn't comfortable with the cameras. Right. And so to be able to just traipse on set and really not have that emotional investment that um, the girls there will have mm -hmm. will be really nice. But, I mean, at the same time, I really I feel for them I've been through what they've been through, and so it'd be great to offer my advice to them. Well, Miss J may be leaving. Do you think you'd ever take a place on the panel? <laughs> <gasps> I would love to take a place on the panel. Just in case you're watching this, Tyra, please consider me. Um, and I have one last request, um, probably from all the viewers at home. Now that you are a top model winner and an expert, can you show us your best smize? Oh my gosh, you're putting me on the spot, okay. <laughs> well, you're a model now, you gotta do it. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. <laughs> God, but now I just feel so narcissistic and horrible that I did that. But. <laughs> it comes with a job. All right, well, thank you so much. We appreciate you taking the time out thank to do this. Thank you. Thanks.